Reading Pioneers is proud to present Meet Kamala Harris by Nia Hentz, illustrated by Winda Muliasari. Meet Vice President Kamala Harris. She is the first woman, first African American, and first Asian American to be Vice President. Kamala Devi Harris was born October 20, 1964, in Oakland, California. She was the first child to her Jamaican born father and her Indian born mother. Her father, Donald Harris, was a professor, and her mother, Shamala, a cancer researcher. Kamala was brought up in a multicultural home. Her mother made sure both of her cultures were embraced. She also attended both a Black Baptist church and a Hindu temple. She often shared her culture with others. She would bring her black friends home, share Indian food, and paint henna on their hands. Kamala spent summers in India, visiting family and learning about her culture. Her grandfather, P.V. Gopalan, was a high-ranking government official and fighter for independence. He was one of the people who had a heavy influence on her. Kamala's parents divorced when she was seven years old. Afterward, she lived with her mother and sister, Maya, in a yellow house. The three of them became very close because of this. In school, Kamala was a good student. To get to school each day, she traveled on a long bus ride across town. She did this to go to a better school and have more opportunities. Her family later moved to Montreal, Canada, when she was 12, for her mother's new job. When she was 13 years old, she followed her parents to the path of activism. She and her sister, Maya, led a demonstration at their apartment building to protest kids being unable to play on the lawn. They were successful in their feat. The school Kamala attended was a French-speaking school. She finished high school there in Canada, but went back to the United States for college. She chose to attend Howard University, a top HBCU. She majored in political science and economics and joined the sorority Alpha Kappa Alpha. After college, Kamala went on to finish law school at California Hastings College of Law. She then became a lawyer and later California's first black woman district attorney. As the district attorney, she created the Back on Track program to help people who made terrible mistakes get job training and make a better life for themselves. In 2016, Kamala became a U.S. Senator for California. She was the first South Asian American to do this and the second African American woman. She married her love, Doug Emhoff, in 2004 and is called Mamala by his two children, a pet name they have for her. Other things you should know about Kamala Harris. She loves to cook. She loves hip-hop music. She collects Chuck Taylor shoes. She loves to read. She has written three books. One of them is a children's book. And last, her mother is her greatest inspiration. She takes her motto from her. You may be the first to do many things, but make sure you're not the last. Shamala Gopalan Harris
Thank you, Pioneers, for reading with us today to the book, Meet Kamala Harris. Mia Hens, the author of this book, contacted me to get this put on my channel. I was so thrilled for this opportunity. When I was a child, I loved reading about presidents and vice presidents, and I think this story would have been perfect for me. It is important to learn about our political leaders and know a little bit more about them. So I hope you also enjoy this book as history does seem to be rewritten day by day. To help support Mia, you can purchase your own copy of this book from Amazon and visit her social media links in the description box down below. If you would like to get your book read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com. It would also be awesome to click the thumbs up button to support the channel. If you enjoyed the book, of course, share this video with friends and family and subscribe clicking the notification bell to stay updated with future uploads by Reading Pioneers. While waiting for the next upload, you can check out the playlist on the left of other videos by rising authors. And on the right are some other nonfiction related books that you may also enjoy reading. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us today. And until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.